Oh yeah, here we are. We are back in your ears doing the podcast. Doing the radio. Mm, yeah, well this is the podcast. Oh, sorry. Have I stuffed it up already? Not stuffed up. That's probably dramatic. Um, you've mucked it up. Okay, well, you no, know, this is the it's podcast. Nice this is the podcast. Yeah. Hey, oh, this of is... our radio oh, hi, show. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, oh, hi, Ricky. Hey, hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, yeah, hey. we're good. Yeah, I missed you. Like this. Yeah, I missed Can we do it the whole time? Yeah, I really missed you guys. Is that ASMR? <laughs> you don't like Oh, well, you, at least you said it right for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, like, you... it's like Chat GBT. I can't say that properly. Oh. It's cheap, cheap PT? Chat GPT. It doesn't really GPT. roll off the tongue. Uh, I'm over it. There's my big hot take of the day. I'm over Chat I'm GPT. Well, I reckon AI is here to stay, dude. Yeah, that's my oh, hot no. take. I don't like AI. Oh, no. now they've heard me. Something's going to go oh, wrong at home. My Alexa's going to break Why down. Because you you you've had the year off. Well, you're having the year off stand up. Why don't you get oh, AI? I was say the year off. Well, we have a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Sleepy Sleepy over the weekend. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm allowed to. It's my ho- weekend. <laughs> um, Bro. Oh, Trying to you get the AI to write your next show for shits Honestly, and gigs. I wonder some, if it would some actually. Some comics going around. I wouldn't be surprised if AI yeah, had I written their stuff. Because yeah, the songs true. are actually pretty good that they do. Yeah. We're going to um, play one in today's show that you'll listen to in a sec. That's a good tease, isn't it? Oh, I like that. God, wow, that you didn't forget how to do radio while no, you were on holiday. No, I came in. Ah, no. did you? Yeah, just off air stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Walk around the sure. halls, go, yep, yep, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yep, I got yeah, down with sales. It's stuff. Tuesday. Check out the traffic next. A lot of that stuff. Yeah. Oh, a lot of that stuff. You just got me confused. I thought it was Tuesday all of a second. Yeah, I was like, oh. Oh, you silly, really? It's what not am Tuesday. I like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're mental. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I say that You would way. hate how many baths I had over the break. Give, give me an idea, a rough idea. Some, we had two, two weeks off. Some, day, some days, two. Two baths in a day. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to blow your mind. I had two baths <laughs> over the break. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. Because I had to after my thing. And I did you, What did you put in your bath? Myself. No, but no. Like, slid in. Me, yeah, salts. I, I saw um, Epsom body. salts um, when I was at a convenience store in New Zealand and I thought of you immediately. Oh, oh I oh all of a sudden just yes. became Carlotta. <laughs> <laughs> and also you brought me back a pinky, which was nice. I did. And a chocolate did bath. You have bubble bath. <laughs> did you have bubbles in your bath? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want oh. everyone to say my private. It's nice to have. Well, a- I was wondering. That's what I wanted to know. Who's, like, where your bits floating? Who's out? Who's in there? I know. I had a bath in one of those showrooms. <laughs> 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 hey guys, yes, like it is. Are. Black is from the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. We're back in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. April seventeen. I miss it. Uh, enjoy the podcast, guys. Boner. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Lovely, lovely. I've got a bit of Monday-itis. TGIM. Hanging out with friends. So welcome to Monday, guys. Thank God. Thank God that it's Monday. Why can't it be Monday every day? Give the people what they want. Oh, yes. Thank God. Thank God that it's Monday. We're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back live, honestly, seriously, I hated that holiday. Really? I love being back at work. I know, I'm very excited to be back. I woke up like a little kid in a candy store this morning, like it was Christmas Day. Mm. You didn't feel the same, Joel? (laughs) Um, No, I totally did. I'm I'm stoked to be here. No, I am happy to be back. I've got a lot of thoughts and opinions, and I know that's why people come to this show for my hot takes on the world issues. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. And and also, all the good stuff happens. I always find when you do this, have you found this now that this is your job? Yeah. When you're on a break, you feel like all the interesting stuff happens? No, because I haven't haven't looked at the news. I don't know what, like seriously, one half of the earth could have been obliterated and I would not know. Not the half of the earth that you were on though, because it was pretty spectacular. It was pretty spectacular, I was. The Dalai Lama. Tried passing a kid at one point, yeah. so that was something. <laughs> yeah. Taylor Swift broke up with her boyfriend. Hey, six well, years mate, what are you doing? Happened. Stop what, mate, <laughs> Nat, what are you doing? Are you doing the next segment now? Oh, oh, I have I, looked at the wrong I show. have a things we missed for us. We do this oh, at the start mate, of every show. I'm going to win this game. I'm going to win. Is oh, it a you're going to win because oh, I know it's not nothing. Really a game. <laughs> it's not really you a will win. Make it's it a game. It's already two nil. It's already yeah. two nil. But it's, it's a way of us, like you know, talking about the Dalai Lama wanting to suck a kid's tongue. You know. Well, do you know the only everybody. The it's only like thing like that I... Stop! Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Well, what, everybody? How many people in the office down there? I can see the girls in Sydney, and I, I've got Jem here with me. See Bree's little um, jacket that she got from the... I know, it's um, strobing on my screen. From the Italian um, restaurant. You looked great in that. 
Thank you. you break out Tim of Italy had, over the Tim break. Tim had a... Yeah, yeah, he looked like a, a secretary. Mm, it was like really cute. Ellen's first girlfriend. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, well, that is her first girlfriend. <laughs> was it? I reckon there was some secret little girlfriend, you know? Okay, her first public girlfriend. Okay, good one. <laughs> You've really ruined a lot of things already. <laughs> oh, uh, I welcome know, back, I really Joel. How is this my first day back? Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, we are here. And we are live at TGIM. Hello. Oh. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Tiesto and Tate McRae at 4.08. It's 10.35. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Back to, back to regular programming. Oh, my God. Although I've, I've seems like I've already ruined things. You yeah. ruined everything, Joel. So you're back Sorry. to your normal caper for this turn, no, as we well, say? No, well, I was, I was chomping at the bit to get back on the air yeah, broadcasting to the, the ground nation. running. Hello, yeah, Australia. My house is filled with post-it notes with ideas. and oh, ideas, 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 ideas. So much imagine. butcher's paper. Yeah. That's, oh, what's, that's actually, what's laying around your house. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> I had a barbecue on the weekend and had to write a to-do list, and I used a green pen. And I thought of you the entire time. I don't quite like it. I've had, have you, is it my green pen? You gave it to me, yeah. Yeah, yeah your the, green pen's the, really fancy. The ball pe- pen tell, fine point. It's from France, whatever. Can I please have a turn? Um, and Officeworks, it would be nice if you stocked it because I have to buy them online and I love Officeworks, but cool. seriously, dudes. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. It made my my to-do list a breeze. Mm, did you have name tags at this barbecue? I didn't do name tags at the barbecue because <laughs> I actually wasn't sure, entirely sure who was coming. Yeah, and right. did you know everyone's names to be able to put them well, on the name tag? I actually went out, oh, no, I knew everyone's names. <laughs> did you barbecue I mean, red capsicum or green capsicum? Mate, I made hamburgers <laughs> from scratch. I made hamburgers from scratch and pulled pork, and I made three different types of salsas from scratch. You pulled oh, pork. How did you go making pork. the buns? Call me, call me Guzman. I didn't make the buns. You pulled pork, what did you have for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. I know, when's the food going to be mentioned? <laughs> Um, last no, show we did was all together in Melbourne. I mean, that feels yes. like a million years ago. It does ago. feel like a million oh, years ago. That's right. Can that we discuss what fun. you've done just briefly or is that all? Yeah, we can. Yeah. We can. Just give a headline because it's pretty, I mean, compared to everyone, like my break and Joel's, I'm assuming. We had a barbecue. I had a barbecue. You had a barbecue. <laughs> well, I, I went and uh, I shot the, the music video for my new song in New Zealand. Mm. So we were on top of mountains. I was, you know, watch me start a fire in the rain. I was in like getting rained on and there was fire and it was, it was. Epic. And it's it killing outrageous. it in the charts, right? Yeah, it's doing amazing it's things. People oh, thanks, are loving Molly. it. So it makes it's, me very well, happy. No, it's killing even, it in the charts. Because I love Ricky Lee so much, I even looked up the charts while I was away and I was keeping an eye on it <laughs> yeah. and hitting play whenever I could. It was very fun. But it was um, I had to wait, and so we went and filmed it and we did it properly. Yeah. We really did it properly. So yeah. I, uh, I've never been closer to death in my life. Oh, wow. Ask me what I did. What did you do? I went to hospital and had fish and chips. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> were they... Were they um, uh, it's not, it's did you have the about. fish and it chips? It wasn't serious. It was just something. Was it like, Tim was I, getting I, a BBL. Do you like my new titties? <laughs> yeah, they're gorgeous. But, uh, Your butt uh, is they so perky right now. I'm surprised you went that big. And I've also got that little jaw thing. Have you noticed that? Oh, the, yeah, oh, the, the yeah, buckle like the, fat. Is that what it's yeah. called? Cool. Buckle you know our friend yeah. cool. Jordan has that. I, and oh, his, Instagram, his Instagram, I'm like, that's real. His Instagram is wild. Yeah, yeah. His life is wild. There's a part of yeah, me that wants know. to be him and another part of me would be terrified to be him. I don't yeah. know who you're talking about, but what He's I do... He's like the Barrett. top male model in the world, Jordan Barrett. still don't know what you're talking about. But um, what I do want to know about is your fish and chips. At ho- You had that in the hospital? No. That's just what I did over the two weeks. <laughs> yeah, so I had turkey in sandwiches in hospital and I said, I said could you I like get it? another serving of that? And the nurse is like, absolutely. I, go, I don't mind a bit of turkey. The hospital's so good. <laughs> Yeah. And nurses what was, are fun. But was this, was it was it a scheduled trip? Yeah, key hole, mate. A bit of key yes. hole. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you're being, you are being so... Oh, it's a bit gross. No, but I, no, but I, it's not I, a secret. I, but I know, but it felt like a secret because you were like, oh, hey, guys. Because well, I didn't know how it was going to go. Know and then we were like, chat. as in, were we supposed to know you were going? No, you don't know I everything don't about me. Apply. I mean... <laughs> you do. I pretty think much, I do. Much <laughs> everything. Yeah, but I w- uh, it was quite shocking because I was like, "Did I miss something? Was I? Did yeah. I have too many champagnes one night and forget that you were going?" Yeah, to well, likely. That's also. Likely. You wrote it in the group chat, and I had to go to the other group chat, which is just like the regular group chat, but minus you, Tim, and be like, "Is he okay? Like, is there something we should all be?" Is there a group no, chat without there's me? no other group chat. There's no other group. Oh, chat. screw you guys! I bet you there is. There's no other group chat. <laughs> oh, what are you there's, talking there's, about? There's, there's specific chats. Oh my god, he was so funny today. <laughs> there are specific yeah, that's chats. Exactly I'm sure that's what your group chats talks about all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I have like chats with the girls. Oh God, how boring. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes during the rave cave, I have to make requests. Okay. Actually, I've heard a little. Um, we have. I can't mention who it is yet, 
but I'm pretty excited about either this week or next week. Yeah. And their There's involvement in the rave cave. We have we have a guest for the rave well, cave. Well, not on the Friday, but they're so big in our world that mm. we're going to get them to do something with it. That's, That's all so I'll say. Exciting. I'm, I'm so dropping excited. teasers all over the joint. I'm so excited! Oh my god! Um, yeah, I know. And we also have money to give away today, don't we? With um, yeah, two thousand dollars a day today, two thousand bucks with Lego Masters, which is back. Thank God, because all is right in the world when Lego Masters is on TV. Okay, yes, correct. Who will rise in the toughest challenge yet? New Lego Masters. It's the Grand Masters. The Grand Masters tonight at seven thirty on Channel Nine and Nine Now. Jump on the Nova Player, um, and all the details will be there. We'll, we'll do it after five. But next, okay. the things we missed from the last two weeks. All of it. <laughs> Ricky, you can sit this one out. Yeah. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Yeah, it's Koi Laray. I put this song on Spotify on the TV with the lyrics up. Yeah. That's singing mm. like do a little karaoke with the oh, kids. Oh, yes. I had to stop that pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there some naughty words it's in heckers. there? It's heckers, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it can be yeah. dangerous doing that because it's, uh, so many songs you really don't realise oh. what they're saying until no. you're actually reading them or, or singing them with kids around. 100%. Summer of 69, point. Oh. case in point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, things like that. Um, should we do things we missed? Yeah, Let's please. I'm ready. I'm, I was ready 20 minutes ago. Yeah, you hit the ground right next. All right, first one you touched on, Joel. Why did the Dalai Lama make news over our break? This is a jolt. Yeah. Um, because I don't know what function he was at, but he tried getting this little kid to mm. suck his tongue. Yeah. That's cute. And, Actually? And never yeah. in my life did I think I'd say the words out loud, is the Dalai Lama okay? Well, like, he's getting on a bit. Does, is there? Do, but in what? But in what? Like, a, a, there. At, in what point is that okay to to ask to do? Well, surely the world's got mad if you can't ask a kid to suck your tongue. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If Jack asked right, me to MJ. suck his tongue, I'd be like, <laughs> get your head checked. Um, I want to know what happens though, because the Dalai Lama is kind of like when he passes. Do they oh pick a new Dalai Lama? Stop it. Oh, my God, I'm watching the video. So yeah. you sent me this, but I was very busy doing mm. something else, so mm. I didn't really watch the whole thing. This is the only thing that I know that happened over the break. Yeah. But what is happening? Yeah, I know. He's apologised. He said, look, you know, um, he often teases people he meets in, in a certain playful way. He wants to mm. touch I, tongues, or he yeah. wanted him to suck his tongue. Suck his tongue. Suck his tongue. Hey, I really thought the Dalai Lama had hit rock bottom when he was a guest on MasterChef, but nope. He was he? can take it for yes, it was like a guest oh on gosh, on a couple of seasons ago of MasterChef. The best thing ever was when Carl interviewed the Dalai Lama. Have you seen that? No. Oh, no. Can we get out audio of that place? Because it was just ridiculous. I think he was talking about meat lovers' pizza or something. I'm like Carlos. Oh my god. Um, next one. <laughs> uh, next one. What? Um, why did 19 year old Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown make news? Oh, this is oh, joke. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. She got engaged. She did. Oh, yes, um, I and saw there was a lot of photo. uproar from people, um, you know, m not minding their own business, mm. saying that she's too young to get engaged. And but isn't her fiance Bon Jovi's son? A, bon Jovi's son, Jacob. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Jacob, bon, ja Jacob, Jacob Bon Jovi. Jacob Jovi. Jacob Jovi. Jacob Jovi. John John Bon Jovi. Is his name John Bon? Millie Bobby Brown. Jacob bon Jovi. Jovi. Jacob jo Jake Jovi. Hey Jacob Jovi. Millie Bobby Jovi. Gosh, <laughs> she's getting some beers. Jacob uh, Jovi. Millie Bobby Bon Jovi. I thought Bobby Brown was a different person. <laughs> no, not Bob, no, not that Bobby Brown. This is the Stranger, Thing, Stranger Things one. Like, why is Bobby Brown marrying John Bon Jovi's son? <laughs> I'm not sure about his little stubble down the end of his chin. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> no, but I'm loving your hair at the moment. Oh, thanks, Joe. Well, it's, your, it's your mate Stavros. Yeah, thank you, Stavros. And I apologise really to everyone at Nova 100. Look. Yeah, I know. Nova 100, we left that studio in quite the state. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. It's probably hair in all the faders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like what's right. in the old Triple M studio faders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Okay, question I'm number whack. three. Which A-list singer ended a six-year relationship, Joel? Oh, no, Joel, no. Joel, oh, Joel. Go, go, go. Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know she was in a six-year relationship. She never told me. Yeah. And Joe <laughs> Alwyn. 
Yeah, and you know who, what he's people have been saying I look like, by the way. You like, actually do. Ah, uh, no, you don't. Um, oh. Oh. Do you think? Well, you I'm look like, like I think that is that. absolutely Joel. What on the right? <laughs> That's Taylor. <laughs> no, no you I know what he's Taylor. in. He's in with Jemima Kirk, who I love. Jemima Kirk mm. from Girls. He's in this thing called Conversations with Friends on Amazon. Really good series. Okay. Okay. He's really good in it. Speaking of good series, okay. by the way, I, the first because I had to recover. I watched Beef. I've never, Beef I've never so binged good. anything in my oh, life. I tried. I, I couldn't get into it. it. Oh, really? You have to watch it. It's so good. Beef is it. so good. And I watched the menu it. as well for the first <laughs> yeah. time. You guys told me about that. Oh, That's yeah. awesome. But Beef okay. is insane. Now this is sad news for Joel and I in particular. Your area wouldn't have had this some um, service. Okay. <laughs> but which delivery service? <gasps> oh my god. Cease to exist. This is sad. Job, job. Yeah, this go. Is sad. Yeah, go. Milk run. Milk run is shut down, and I feel like oh, maybe that's like I'm your to blame. Best it's one of my friend. Favorite. You know what? What I loved about milk run because they were genuine. They didn't gouge you. The delivery fees were completely reasonable. They, they were lovely people. They paid their. The hour. They paid their uh, their employees really well, and it was a great service. Mm, so is it was that awesome? But I think I reckon maybe I was to blame because I was doing my full grocery run on there, and, and they were like, well, "This is too much to handle." <laughs> yeah. You no, know, I also liked about it is you yeah. could buy like beer and stuff, but it comes up yeah. as milk run. <laughs> oh, that's mm-hmm. a wonderful thing. And like nice stuff, you could buy. Oh, there was always nice things on there. Why did everything you get for the spaghetti bolognese cost two hundred and seventy five dollars? <laughs> yeah. well, doesn't it taste great? <laughs> and yeah. and we never seem to run out of beer around here. <laughs> okay, um, now this is one that you won't know, but I'd like you to guess. Now I was at a regional um, bowls club on the weekend with my kids. Yeah. Mm. And I got shouted drinks all afternoon because someone thought I was someone else, and I let them think that. <laughs> Tina Fey. Ricky, Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Shut up. The joke's done. Oh, it's no, not done. it's not. That one's shouting, and I, I just ran with it. Someone thought you were someone. They thought I was Andy Lee the whole time. No, they ah! did it. And so I went, and you, I, and then I, I thought I really lent into it. No, I know, like I know, but I, I said I really lent into it. I go, wait till Ham hears about this. Ah, <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! And he's like seven. No offense, but he's like really tall. Yeah, but... Oh, there he's behind you. <laughs> you don't look the I same. I see it a little bit. At all. No, I think. And the really relate tall. the link between radio. I think they just think. I think they are fans of our Instagram, right? And they just assume that the only two people on radio are either <laughs> Hamish or Andy, Andy. Yeah, in the well, world's history. Enough. Even though we've been here. So funny, but you people you... still think. All my friends still think I do the breakfast shift, and yeah, I, yeah. I've given up. I'm they're like, what time mm. do you get up? And yeah, instead people... of finding them, I'm like, oh, four a.m. Like yeah. I just lie. People yeah. say that to me too. Oh, it must be so hard getting up so early in the morning. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know. What's American Ross like? I always get that. Weird. A lady. I was. I was buying a pair of pants when I was overseas and a lady was asking me what I do and I was like, oh, God. And I said, oh, I'm a broadcaster, which was a weird response. Yeah, it really was, but and there's then no she other word. M- made the link to Good Morning America and she goes, is it like a Good Morning America type show? And I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And she goes, do you host Good Morning Australia? And I was like, I really need to get out of here. I'll just keep going with it. So I was like, so I was like, yeah, I host Good Morning Australia. And as she's like checking me out, she's like, oh, my God, what time do you get up? And I'm having to go with this full pantomime. <laughs> So I hope she never comes down here oh, and realises no. that I'm not Carl Stefanovic. No, you're not. Um, speaking of Carl Stefanovic and the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Pizza shop, yes. Yeah, pizza, pizza shop. And says, <laughs> can you make me one with everything? <laughs> What's that? That's what? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> I love him. Oh, that's hilarious. I love him so much. It took oh, me a moment so to get it, I must say. Um, last one. Everything. Last one. Nick Cannon. You know, uh, Yogurt Cannon. Yogurt Cannon. Yeah, Yogi. I actually heard this story on I-98 with our old mate Cam in okay. Wollongong as I was yeah. driving around. Um, he broke the news. <laughs> um, oh, Nick great. Cannon was on Howard Stern. What happened when he listed all his 12 children by name? He forgot one. Firstly, his turban from Levis is lovely. <laughs> oh my god! What's his entire what outfit? Do you want to hear it? Morocco and yeah. Monroe. He's trying to name his children. Is he trying to name them in order, or did he forget or name all of them? Because he's mean, got he, twelve kids. Yeah, he, he did miss one. Moroccan and Monroe, days. golden, Monroe. powerful, and then Zion, Zillion, Zen. That's and correct. And then from there, we, yeah, this is legendary. Keep going. Then right. there's legendary then love, rise. legendary yeah. love. Then there's rise. 
<laughs> you forgot I Onyx. Heard a name. I haven't heard a name yet. Sandra Legendary Zulu. and Zala. Rise. Zabala. Sun and... Guzman. Guzman. Legend- Love ya. He has a kid called Legendary? Yeah. Legendary Cannon. Yeah, yeah. That's the name. Yep, yep. Um, he's a really good friend of Jacob Joby. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Nova. Hello. Oh. Thank God it's Monday. I woke up like a little kid in a candy oh, store yes. this morning. Really? Like it was Christmas Day. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. Welcome back to the party, everybody. Things they know you. Welcome back to our party. Ooh, I like this. Welcome mm-hmm. back to the party, put your body on the line. See, I love Marlon this about William. you. I, I, I discover new songs yeah. from these little things. I'm putting this in my playlist immediately. Is this new? Well, not real, kind of. It's it's uh, Don't Go Back by Marlon Williams. He's been announced for Splendor in the Grass. Love this. Uh, I'll try, I feel I'll, like I should have a cocktail. The film clip's amazing too. One in a million and a long way from home I can hear you. me like old school. Oh, I love this. I get scared of I've seen this. I have He's seen married. this video. Yes. You showed me this. I did. You did. I love this. You pulled along to feel alone, forgotten by the people all around you. You can get involved in the text line too if you want. 0409 RTJ RTJ. I'll let it do one more chorus just because it's so good and then we'll get some mail back. Right? Yeah, see me explain on the grass very soon with Lizzo, Mumford and Sons. It's a great lineup. Like, I would actually Lewis go. Capaldi. I know, Lewis. I love him so much. Idols. Just, it's going to be massive. The Australian Idols going to be there. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my God. No, not those ones. They feel that. Different ones. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, it's close. Lego Masters back on telly tonight. At 7.30, and we have $2,000 a day to give away starting after five. Looking forward to that. But right now... Carry your bed. Open it. This letter. Read it. Hey, Ricky, Lee, Tim, and Joel. More. Time to check the mailbag. You've got mail. Today I feel mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh so hard. Oh, at me that. too. Today, Today I, I feel day. <laughs> okay. Today I feel a woman. He was the, he was um, the, the head, the of, head of, of Yes, yeah, when the yeah. World Cup was on. What, was the World what a guy. Today what a I guy. feel Qatari. Today I feel uh, immigrant worker. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Seriously. And then he said, didn't he say as well? He said, Today I feel disabled. Yeah, yeah. Today he I said feel... all the things. You're not any of those you things. You know, what about these? Today yeah. I feel a woman. Today I felt hungover. <laughs> Today I feel. Uh, Mailbag. Um, get in touch. <laughs> RTJ at NovaFM.com.au. That's a nice little email address. Or, as I said, text us. Get us on the socials anytime. Let's kick off with you, Joel Creasy, oh, and one of your favourite things. I have such a good mailbag. Um, now, we had a bit of a tussle just before we went on break about meatballs. And I love meatballs. <laughs> I'm on record as loving meatballs. Mm-hmm. And Black is, is on record as not. Yeah, why do you hate them so much? I, I, no, I don't hate them. I think they're overrated. It sounds like you hate them. They're so good. They're delicious. They're so delicious. I think of all the things on them, like spaghetti and meatballs, like what, three meatballs on top of your spaghetti, make a sauce out of it, mash them up. But aren't you talking about like you could huge do that meatballs yourself. like that big? Can't you just do like little cute guys that you just like <laughs> pop in your mouth and... <laughs> yep, like I feel a meatball. <laughs> well, um, the, the Italian word for meatball is palais. And, um, and that? pal. Yeah. Yeah, I only just found that out oh, like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, oh, here's my favourite pal- soccer player. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favourite theatre in Melbourne. Uh, Halle, <laughs> the meatball joint, they're a place in Forest Lodge, New South Wales. Their Instagram account got yeah. in touch with, with us yeah. and <gasps> went ham on the Insta stories and said, meatballs are overrated. That's just one slide. Then they go, we think not, with another slide. Um, nothing messy here. That Join looks the amazing, meat- that one with the cheese. Yeah, that I know, one, send some so in. Oh, oh, send oh in my God. God. That, I want that in my mouth right now. Send it in, Palais. I know. Join oh. the meatball mo- movement. And, pr- and we want to prove to Tim that Joel is right. Ah! Oh, that's so funny. And yes, Joel, so many things can go in a, in a meatball. Yeah, I know, like oh my lamb. Gosh. 
um, like rice lamb. and veg. They're really directing oh, this at you. I and love veg. this. I know. I didn't repost her. I, 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 I somehow missed it. I did miss it. Um, if you're putting rice in your meatball, <laughs> you're going to get your There's me on meatballs. There's me on meatballs. <laughs> well, that's an Aaron Cheney. And also the vegetarians have got to have something, you know, I keep them happy. Oh, mm. I love blind. that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I want to try no, that I, so me, Look, I don't I hate meatballs. I just think... There was other things. I reckon if you okay. wrapped your lips around that thing, you I would love, love it. it. Of course, I love wrapping my lips yeah, around stuff. Long. Yeah, mm. send it in. Yum. Uh, yep. <laughs> um, now this is amazing because we obviously um, like we, we we love doing radio. It's a craft, right? And yeah. sometimes you come out of songs and you just go. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a bit of mash with that banger. I'll have some mash with that banger. Some mash with that banger. Yes! What a banger! Dare I say, it would be served. Good with mash. Ah, can I get some mash with that bunga? Oh, the bunga! The bunga! Oh, wow, well, that song's a banger, and I want it with mash. Can I get some mash for that bunga? Yeah! yeah. Oh, we really milked it. <laughs> yeah, that was good. We that was really good went in. We yeah, really I love that in. day. I love that day. Well, we have an Instagram message from Jade, mm. and it is uh, something that Niall Horan Posted yeah, about his song leaking my album track list, copying in the guys. Have a listen to this because you know, like something so good, you go. Like, I don't think I made up. Can I get some mash with that banger? But I, I promise, but obviously I hadn't heard you it. own it. I promise I hadn't heard it before. Yeah, but you now own mm. it. It's this yours. A, welcome to the show. Want some mash with that banger? Yes, no. I mean, like he did that to after you. us. He's been listening to you. He's been listening. Yeah, he, he, he's got he family in up. Melbourne, so maybe does he does he, have does the Nova. Actually? Yeah, um, maybe he has the Nova player um, going working maybe he overtime. Does. But also, like they live song. here or they're just here at the moment. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. get to know them. Sliding into his DMs and asking. I'm obsessed with oh, them. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm just, sure he'll see my message. He might. Um, you anyway, there you go. Good on you, Jade and Tay. That's very cool. Now, um, we've got something, to, thanks to Mike, to add to the grown-ups being winded file. Oh, it's so <laughs> This funny. is my favourite thing. <laughs> Through my tree. His cousins. Niall's got cousins. Thank you. Okay, I'll befriend them. Oh, good. Um, here we go. Now, some of our favourites, obviously, are Grape Lady. Oh, I was so undignified. Oh. And then, of course, Shamrock. <laughs> now please, please go on our socials for this video. I think it's on our. We're going to put it on our socials or something because you have to see this video. We have to. This person is on a scooter, I think, Mike. And how this person doesn't see the fence okay. is beyond me. It's worth it. Listen, okay, you, use your imagination. Before. Listening on the radio now <laughs> of a guy going full pelt against a fence. <laughs> Oh <gasps> what? <laughs> like, hang on a minute. How do you miss uh, that? It's broad daylight. Oh my god, go again. One more time. It's going. It's going so fast. How does he miss listen, that? Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. oh. I love that so much. What's wrong with you? I mean, and he's wearing his high vis jacket like he's done everything else, but he's just not watching. Oh, bro. Thanks for sending in your stuff, mailbag. Back again <laughs> next week. It's Peking Duck and Darren Hay on Nova. Anytime. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Thank you, the duck. I think Ruben is doing a little uh, tour of Spain at the moment. Eating his way around oh, Spain. Oh, if you don't mind. Hola, Ruben. Oh, wow. Hola. Hola, I've Rose. never been to Spain. I'd love to go. Neither have I. Apparently, I've never been, but apparently someone said to me, it's like Italy, but they're more organised. <laughs> like, so you've got everything that Italy's got, but without the Italian relaxed attitude. Oh, oh really? A bit, more, okay. a bit more like, you know what? A bit more. Dinner's Come on. At, let's, dinner's at seven. Let's get there. And there you go. <laughs> I went to Ibiza. I went to David Guetta's club, Pasha, which was quite fun. Pasha. This this isn't the name dropping segment. Sorry, this is talking about (laughs) Spain and Italy. I'm talking about (laughs) Spain. And I met David Guetta while I was there. Oh, was he there? Yep. But hey, I won't. I just don't want to say it too loud. You talked to him about that um, terrible remix of uh, Martin Luther King's I Had a Dream Speech (laughs) on top of the Eiffel Tower or something. Was it the Eiffel Tower? No, Empire State Building. (laughs) I... I 
Have a three. <laughs> I couldn't place Calvin Harris in a lineup. Is that who we're talking about? No, no. David, David Getter. David Getter. David Getter. I couldn't place David Getter in a lineup. Also, if you with see, Calvin Harris. I mean, Calvin Harris is a <laughs> he's right hot, like tall, yeah. Scottish. Calvin strapping lad. Calvin Harris is so hot. I interviewed him a hundred years ago when he was a fat Scottish man. And now is he a fat Scottish he's man? A bit, he's a bit chubby. Oh. And he was lovely. He's he still is lovely. I don't think, well, yeah, maybe not. But he was a bit chub. And obviously he got chub. famous and got some abs. Oh, he got so hot. And when yeah. him and Taylor Did Swift he? were dating, oh my God, that was so, mm. such a sexy couple. Can we bring goodness. him up for you? Oh, no, Look no, at him, no. Joel. Jermaine's brought him up. Oh my Look God. Look at yeah, that, that was face. That was in there when he's I He's stunning. And then that's him now. Oh, wow. And he's, he's a DJ too, isn't he? Oh, my God. Oh yes. My gosh, Are you man. serious? Well, I'm just trying to get it c- correct because I'm. you were talking about David Getter. I brought up we Calvin were. Harris. And yes. I just wanted to make sure I had all, all my ducks in a line or yep. whatever they yep. say. Both DJs. <laughs> They're in a line. Both DJs. <laughs> yep. You Pop quiz. Ooh. What's a G6? It's a private jet. Oh, like a G6. Thank you, Barry. Movement. Have either of you ever been on a private jet? We'd, I did no. a show on a private jet. Did you? Did a radio show on a private jet. Oh. I'm the most How private jetty person, and I've never been on a private jet. You've not even been on like, like I've you've been fl- on a you've little, like you like, flight wrecks, light aircraft, <laughs> like, a few times, PJ? but not a private jet. No. No. Yeah, not like a luxe bougie one where they serve yeah, they champagne. Yeah, they go from city and... to city in. I've yeah. been to like regional areas. If we're name planes. dropping, Ryan Tedder told me once when we were sitting next to each other at the NRL Did Grand Did he tell final. you about how good my uh, questions were on Ryan's <laughs> no, yeah. Is he a DJ? Oh, oh my God. He wrote Halo for he a start. He wrote Halo. He's in One Republic, the yeah. band. Um, He said oh, he travels around so DJ. much and he needs to, like, he needs to go, oh, God, I've just got to go here now. That flying commercially just wasn't an option anymore. So he oh, bought okay. a private yeah, jet. Yeah, yeah. He bought a private bought, jet. But how's this? Because he's so smart, when it sits there, people who can't afford private jets rent it off him. Oh, man. So he just buys oh, a pilot and a like jet. Me. And, and, go, and he said, Rihanna out. used it. And I can really think oh. Rihanna can afford her own jet now. I but, think she's got her own jet. Yeah. I love that you say that like, come on, idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, like, I don't know well, anything about music, but then I'm like, I think she's got her own jet. She definitely has. Um, Australia's well, got their own jet. Hey. <laughs> Like you know, billionaires have jets. Yeah, it's a billionaire toy. Yeah. It's a billionaire thing to have. Like mm. that's it's a very expensive thing. But like I feel like obviously people that go on private jets are quite bougie people, and they're not used to hearing no. And yeah, so like something... Rebel Wilson. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, she's mad. She for gets private. on it. She mad likes to fly private. All the teams she goes for um, in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. you're a Rams fan today, are you? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dubai wants me to pop over and do something. <laughs> Don't hate on the girl. I'd be doing the same thing too. No, you wouldn't. You would too. No, you wouldn't. Yes, you would. If they were paying you to be somewhere, you'd be there for sure. Of course, I would. Sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, two private jet staff members have anonymously revealed what it was like working on a private plane. So, working with athletes, musicians, actors, mm. billionaires, CEOs. I reckon I bet your finance guys are the worst. Well, no. What? No, they said that I would have thought that as well, mm. but they said that the worst behaved passengers are musicians and producers. Are they? Oh, that checks out. Well, yeah. Yeah. Musicians are, and you know rock stars and writers and producers. I know a producer that like is an actual animal. Right. Like he's an awful person mm. and just does all of the things to the extreme. Like I'm surprised he's even still alive. And just hey, is it is an awful person. Would I get along with him? You'd love him. <laughs> Sounds you like would great love fun. him. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's actually really fun to party with. Yeah, but yeah, like, so like I get I embarrassed it. because of how <laughs> rude and just out there he is because he just and, but doesn't be fair, give a musicians, shit. Like musicians, you guys get to do, kind of do the whole like you know, like cap on and like head down, like oh don't talk to me, and you can be a bit rude. That's what you do. Cool. Yeah. No, no. Oh yeah, the, you the do. When we travel with you, your oh, sunnies please. on and headphones on oh, and big please. jackets. And he's not a, like, no, because he's not a but morning. But if someone though. stops me, I'm like I'm I'm show, I give him a show. Like, oh Tom Ballard, <laughs> I love you. Give him the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> it's day one back. <laughs> it's day one back. Can can I have another reference? I loved you on Triple J Breakfast. <laughs> Who else is on your list, Ricky? Well, it's oh, all the things don't that shut me out. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going you're to push him out you, of the yeah, show now. Push him out. Oh, oh yeah, okay. push him out. Get rid of him. Look, Get rid of him, Ricky. Yeah. Oh oh oh! No, I won't do yeah. that. You're not even finished mm. with the first hour, and he's turned your mics off. Mm. Oh, I know. Joel. Yeah, all of them. Record. All of them. <laughs> 
all of them. The mics, your so mics many. are off. <laughs> it's like you're at a press conference. <laughs> I know. Why is there a 2GB mic under your chin? <laughs> I know. I've, oh, it's a press conference. <laughs> and these ones? I used to live for press conferences. I'd like to thank the boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like, the only reason I say that is because a, a, a car driver, a private driver said to me once, he goes, it's not what you think. He said, TV and, and radio and musicians are always great. He goes, it's the finance guys that, are, that were the worst in his cars. And real estate people sometimes. Whoa, careful, mate. I do. Can't I find all some, that No, well, some of, some of those high-flying <laughs> real estate guys are... Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So some of the things that they said were, were the crazy things that they were asked to mm. do. A pilot was once asked to make a plane oscillate up and down. So the bouncing move... Because the bouncing movement, if the plane was going up and down, it would help them with their dancing. Oh, I thought they were having sex. <laughs> because well, they were awesome. obviously having a fun party. That's but awesome. hey, pilot, can yeah. you just make the plane bounce a bit? That's right. I'm sure that's not safe. Well, no, absolutely. Absolutely not safe. Probably. Yeah. Um, and the crew were also asked to not look or speak to a guest, a certain guest, and they had to communicate through their personal assistant. So they would say to the assistant something yeah. who would then say, like, come on. I hope. Oh, You're my God. We're all in the same tiny metal tube. If it goes down, we're all one yeah. and the same. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> stuff, Dalai Lama. <laughs> um, Rebel, Rebel Wilson has commented on flying um, commercial, though. Yeah. That's like my boganess. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Dan. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's good stuff. We like this private jet. Uh, when we get back, glossies, and don't forget two grand with Lego Masters. We're back live. It's good to be back. Good to be back. Sad. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. We are back live here on No. We're having too much fun. We're a bit late. So it's time for glossies. The glossies. On screen. On screen. I'm having too much fun. You know, catching I up. I know. We're catching Ricky Lee back, back up on like life itself. Yeah. So you really. Sort it's of... like I've been living in a cave for two weeks. You've not know, heard you of only... anyone. I haven't heard of anyone or anything. I don't know what any of you were talking it's about. Like you got your showbiz blinkers on. Do you I know do. who this is? <laughs> This is my my boy, one of my boyfriends. Mm-hmm. This is Leonardo DiCaprio, but I have yeah. no idea what he's up to. So you're gonna have to oh, do the is work. It the, is it the story about him dating someone a little bit close, like a little bit older? She's like 29 or something. Well, kind of. It's Coachella related. Have we got the photo? So 29 is old for him. It is. He doesn't yeah. go over 25. <laughs> um, spotted hanging out in Coachella with Bradley Shake. Cooper's ex. Yes. Yeah. Shake Shack. Oh, they're a gorgeous couple. I don't think that's going to last. Why? I don't know. It's Co- oh, Coachella's yeah. on at the moment, isn't it? Yes. I think Frank Ocean is headlining tonight and it's not streaming. It's the only performance that everyone wants to oh. see. Oh. I want to see Black no. no, I want to see Blackpink. Oh, they were on. Oh, I'm sure to rave reviews. Oh, shut up. Just <laughs> no, I, no, I you watched it. You don't understand no, K-pop. No, I watched it and... <laughs> Wow, you had a real sad holiday by the sound of things. Yeah. Just sitting on the couch watching stuff. I'm not sitting on the couch, actually. I, was like, I, I can't sit on the couch. I can't like do this. Oh, leaning that... and watching things. I sit on the arm a lot. Waiting just for so me to text you. so you can get out you. just in case. Quick! Yeah, quick! Quick! Hi! Uh, okay, next glossy. This is crazy. This is AI related. Oh, oh, I did. I heard, the this, well, I heard this on Chrissy's show and on Drake. the weekend. Drake. Yes. Yeah. They've, re- they've written a song together in an AI format. Um, uh, well, you know, artificial intelligence. Well, I don't think they've re- been involved. I don't think they're involved. AI's in. done it. AI's done it. And As oh, them? mimicked Just them. gone ahead and done it. I came out with my ex like Selena the flat. Bumping just some beer, but a fever and left. Remember we did that with Eminem? Because remember we found out that Eminem got Eminem's voice to do like Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Did we do that? Can oh we get gosh, that again? Can we? Can we find Does that this again? Does sound like them? Yeah. Because yes. I don't really know them that well. So, Not a single human being was involved in making this. This is insane. And it's terrifying. Yeah. Because it's actually kind of really good. It's, it's, I, <laughs> I quite know. like it. I'm going to have AI play for me tomorrow in Joel Jiven. I'll finally win. <laughs> Uh, next glossy, please. What's happening here? Oh, Joel. <gasps> Joel, take it away, oh, sister. The first images of the Wicked movie uh, have been released. It's, all, it's an image of Cynthia Erivo playing Elphaba and Ariana Grande. There's Cynthia 
and Ariana Grande playing Galinda. Oh. Um, I'm so excited. It's a two-part movie. Oh, that's, that's why she's got blonde hair at the moment. Yes, she's got Linda or Glinda. If you know the if you know the musical, you'll know oh, what okay. happened. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's Tim, so you'll good. Be all I can't over wait. It. Can I come back in now? <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> be huge, mate. In. Jeff Goldblum, Michelle Yeoh, Joel. those two. Should because yeah. I know, and I know that I will get my ally card taken off me when I say this. I have mm. not seen Wicked. I've told you this. Well, lucky for you, my darling. It's coming to Sydney in a few months, and I will take you. And should I see the show, the production before yeah, see I the see the production first? This? The yes, movie. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the movie comes out for a while. <laughs> Tim's right, chat. Dying. Oh, okay. Come on back in and talk about the 1975 or whatever that oh, other. Oh, great last night. Rando that you went to see over the break. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about this for a glossy to finish off with? Oh, is this oh, about King how Charles. rich King Charles? Well, I keep calling him Prince Charles. Is this about how rich he is? Well, you can say oh. that bit. It's not. That's not it. But go. Is it um, Katy Perry? Yeah, it's Katy Perry oh. and Lionel Richie. Oh, what? Yes, they're performing at his. At the Horror. coronation. Oh, that is going to be going to do the menu log song. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, here we go. We found our AI Eminem. Don't call anywhere. Thank you very much. Move on with Nova Boy. Turn up to feel good. Yes! This is Ricky Lee Boom, light it up, party time. Yes. TGIM. Crank it. Thank God it's Monday. Woo. Monday looks good on you. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. TGIM, guys. Yes, thank you, Dickie. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to the second hour of the show. Welcome back as well. Hey, We're back, so baby. nice. Hey, it's there. live. It's 13 past five. It's Monday. It's the 17th of April. And Beautiful. we're back for the big long haul now. This is good. Yeah. Strapping. So mm-hmm. It's so good to be back. And we've got two grand a day to give away. I jump on the Nova player if you want to be a part of this. I'm so pumped. Lego Masters is back on telly tonight at 7.30. The new Lego Masters, it's the Grand Masters tonight Ooh. at 7.30. Is it like all nine. stars? No, it's the Grand Masters. <laughs> oh, okay. So all stars? I oh, know. Like, you, should we call, call Hamish and tell him to change it? Well, you do is, it like the, uh, is it like the best winners like from past seasons competing? <laughs> is it, though? Uh, you haven't given me a yes or no. Well, clearly you're it giving is. me the credit. Clearly it is. It, Obviously it is. it is. Yep. Yep, okay. Cool. Any, any other captain beach, obvious? Yeah. No, you could have just said yes straight away <laughs> and we wouldn't have had this. Uh, we are playing Lego House again, which I know you haven't done before, and I'm going to tell you uh, just before we do it. Okay. Okay. Wow, this feels like the Goo Goo Dolls, but it's not. I give up forever. I don't yeah. you. It's Chemical by Posty. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. That's Post Malone. It's Chemical here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Say it I'm sorry. Tell me what I gotta do. No, I can't go. I swear I sound like the Goo Goo Dolls at the start. I did at the start, but that's, a, that's brand spanking new. It's brand spanking. It's brand spanking. I thought it was Iris. And I'd give up forever. Here we go, like. Oh, it really does. It really sounds like. <laughs> I mean, what a, what a really average band. Oh, this song's amazing. <laughs> give up forever to touch you. Forever to touch you. Oh, what was their other big one? I don't think they had one. <laughs> yeah, name. I want to know man, your name. Never heard that. Oh, bull. So angsty. <laughs> bull. <laughs> have, you of, have you heard of Bill Clinton? <laughs> you would have done it yeah. at a corporate at some point. Monica's mate. Okay, oh, no, Slide is big. Slide's another oh, one. But No, this is name. I've never heard this, but he feels like he would be fun at a party. Slide. Yeah! I didn't know this was them. I thought this was Matchbox 20. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Uh, overcoat, <laughs> second chef, no chip. I just don't think anyone's putting them on at a party. <laughs> oh, no, no. Rob Thomas actually oh, is a one half of the worst there. song of all time with Carlos Santana. Smooth is the Are worst you song ever performed and written. Are you joking? God, you yes. like train I you more. I don't have to you like train yes. yep. more yep. than Smooth is the Smooth. worst song ever. Smooth is one of the best songs ever. Well, you're on drugs. Fight me! 
Can you play me smooth? Yeah, I you just don't know. Whenever I hear this, mm. I I have to hopefully hopefully I'm not driving. <laughs> Otherwise, I will veer off the road <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Thirteen twenty four ten. If you like this song, call us now call. and then never call again. Call <laughs> us. <laughs> Show him. Thirteen twenty four ten. I love Joel that you thought that this was smooth criminal. <laughs> oh yeah, I just heard the word smooth and I was like, that makes you better sense. not cut this off before the chorus. Have we even had a caller on today's show? <laughs> I don't think we have. Yeah, they're calling those. now. They're calling because they love smooth. Because you know we've got Brisbane back now. There's no daylight like saving anymore. Hey, Come on, Brizzy. Oh, callers are always good for me. 1324 10. Look at the phone lighting up. Come no, on, guys. Me me Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. What are you saying? What are you, what are you saying? Please don't tell me you like this. <laughs> nah. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Come on, I'm with Ricky on this one. As in, you love it? This is a bloody amazing song. Yes, Mitch! Never call again, Mitchell. Yes, Mitch! Oh, what do you mean? I'll Never call again. Give me a heart, make I'm it with, real, Ricky. or else forget about oh, it. I grew up with it. Yes, Mitch. I love you, Mitch. Yes, Mitch! <laughs> okay, who are we going to? Diana, now? Diana. Tim, get out. It is one of the best songs. Yes, Diana! Well, never call about. again, Diana. Tell him is call it all the song? time. <laughs> oh, is it a love Julian, song? please. No, Julian. I not, actually not don't you. know what the song is about, actually about. I just love it. Okay. Hi, Julian. Hey, how are you? Julian, oh, do you love I'm this great. song? I'm great. Yeah, it's my favourite song. Grew up with it. Yes! Uh, so, my brother. Find another show, Julian. <laughs> no, <laughs> stay with us. You, I'm going to get them to add it to the playlist. <laughs> We have a tapestry of tastes here on this show. Anthony, please give me some good news. Anthony loves Rob Thomas. He's one of the best. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Rob Thomas is fine. But this song well, is... And Anthony talks in third person too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's just what? like the ocean. Yeah. No, that <laughs> was the moon, but it's the same as the emotion. All right, let's get back to some proper rock and roll. You got the kind of love Put your AirPods in so Without Ooh, girl. Yeah. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Thank you, Pink. She'll be here soon. I mean, not that soon, but yeah, soon enough. Can She'll I, let us know. Can I just bring something to the table that I, I, I realised as you vomited us out of that song? Yes, yeah, smooth mm. by you, Rob Thomas and Sandra. I think that you have such deep feelings towards Rob Thomas because you look exactly like him. <laughs> you yeah, are Rob Thomas. <gasps> look that, at that. That's you're a Rob, nice. You're Rob Thomas. But no, I don't know. I, I like Rob Thomas. You, I hate that song. I like Matchbox 20. I went and saw them a few times. Well, you know what you should do is you I should put it in your push guitar you set. Well, I around. Well, I will. Well, I will. What about you need to get earrings, though? It's 3 a.m. Like, I'm not a little lonely. Little, lair, ha. <laughs> little hoops. No, it's just, it's just lonely, actually. Yeah, you should no, get a little lonely. Ha. <laughs> what do it's you call it? It's a baby. Ha. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> Must be lonely. Ha. You need some cheeky hoops. I should get some That's hoops. That's what I'm getting you for your you birthday. Should. I should get some hoops. But, but, some cheeky J-Lo little pirate. Silence. Oh, you reckon like a big diamond one? Yeah. I reckon yeah. like a little pirate, get little gold one, pirate hoop. They'll like cut my, cut my, into my earlobe and then I can get a job at JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> oh, yeah, or general pants. <laughs> those big things. Yeah, the, the, they stretch yeah. spaces. Yeah, and then what spaces. I love is they just take them out sometimes and go, you know, I'm done with this. <laughs> what, why yeah. are you leaving them alone? <laughs> 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 he goes... Look at that but I always find them quite cool looking when they're, they are in on the right person. Yeah, for about a day. And then you get yeah. a bit bored with it. How do you sleep? You can't sleep with that thing in, right? Like does you're too, your too popular. <laughs> does your lobe grow back to that size? I don't think no, normal it stays size. like <laughs> forever. <laughs> Imagine forever. going up on top. Hiking on top of a mountain. They couldn't do. Uh, they couldn't do your uh, film clip. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you would hear it. Oh, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> this lobe keeps hitting me in the face. I can't do this. Lobe. 
Oh. Okay, um, let's talk, talk preposterous proposals. <laughs> on 13, 20, 14. I think oh, people who yes. do stuff like this <laughs> get their head read a bit. I know. I think I like a private proposal. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's just my dropping, preference. I've not, dropping, I've not had one. Dropping hints? Yeah, Jack, if you're listening. But this is well, about a man who will propose to who? If Jack's it was to happen. Gonna, Jack's going to propose to me. How do you know that, though? We just made that decision You've like made... five years ago. Okay, so you will not do it. Well, I want to do it because I think I'll do a better job at it, like stage managing it. But, <laughs> Couldn't you um, just stage manage your own? Uh, well, I've tried several times when we're in New York, New York but he didn't You're get like, down on my knee. Tiffany. I had us in all these places with beautiful backdrops oh, and I was sort of loitering with my hand out. It's actually funny, funny to say that. What are you doing tonight about 7.30? Meet me at JB Hi-Fi. Um, I'm going to put uh, the, the, the general manager's earlobe on your ring finger. Oh, my, finger. Oh my God, how special. Congratulations, you've got Jason. <laughs> now, this is about a bloke named Adam. He was on holidays in Lebanon when he decided to propose to his girlfriend, Vanessa. In a bit of a weird way, mm. right? So, um, Vanessa a was in the back. A bit of a weird way. <laughs> okay, a very, very, very yes. weird way. Mm-hmm. So, Vanessa was in the back seat of a car when it was stopped by a group of men carrying weapons. The men dragged her and her sister from their seats, blindfolded them, <gasps> and shoved them in another car. And Vanessa was heard screaming in terror. We have some of it. Yes. If you want. <laughs> what did you say if I want? Oh, t- Okay, don't play it then. Because <laughs> what are we? If you want. We have well, some of it if you want. If you want. Well, that was, was my favourite really nice to you. <laughs> that was really cute. Okay, I'll do it again. If you would like to play it, Tim, you can. No. Okay. No, well, no it is really case. good. Is. Okay. No, please. No, no, no. Just leave. No, please. Ow, no, please. Please, please. Please, no, I can't. Just seen Adam, someone. Please. When's the romantic bit? Oh my god, this is there isn't. torture. There isn't. That's not fun. No, she was then all. Vanessa was then led blindfolded to her boyfriend when he then proposed. I don't even know what her answer was. You would say no, okay. wouldn't no, you? No, that's that like your life flashing before your eyes type thing. That's like Are you meant to oh, think Where's are you meant to be Liam Neeson right now? From the Taken Three. Yeah. <laughs> are you meant to be like grateful once you realise it's a joke and what? go, I will be with you now because I, I want to feel yeah, safe? Some level of assault in there, I like blindfolding 100%. someone and dragging them from a car. But also, like the that that sheer terror taking yeah. over your whole body. Like, imagine some people have like really weird reactions. Yeah, like they when weigh themselves. Yeah, they weigh all like oh, poo imagine themselves. Imagine pooing yourself like, when you're being proposed to. Yes, no, and then imagine no. she gets out. She's got wee and poo all over her, and she's like, <laughs> "Oh, thanks, babe." She's got wee and poo. All oh over my god, her. what are you five? <laughs> Oh, you know what I want to say. Nasty <laughs> I read the code. It's a nasty to start again. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Yes. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. It's been Monday AF. Yeah. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Woo. Thank God it's Monday. This is from Coachella over the weekend. It was a Friday night, I woke alone to get the feeling right. Blink 182. Um, I look, not the best lineup in my opinion. Okay, who's who's on the lineup? I saw Labyrinth and Billie Eilish yeah, got so out with. No? What? Billie Didn't Eilish? Billie Eilish perform with Labyrinth? Wow. Yes, if thumbs up. Thumbs really? Up. Is yeah. that true? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I saw a little bit of Bad Bunny. Oh, me, oh, yeah. Oh, best friend. Oh, yeah. guy. Mm. Oh, guy. Um, but guess who was spotted at Coachella? Mm. Well, who? Hey. Hey. Mich- oh, Michelle from the newsroom. Michelle from the newsroom was probably there. Um, Shawn mm. Mendes, your guy, your favourite, and Camilo yeah. Cabello. You know how they broke up. They bro- and, he, and doesn't he have a new girlfriend? Like a like an older girlfriend. Yeah, are they really kissing? Actually pashing. Actually oh pashing. The couple dated for two and a half years before they split in November 2021, but they were spotted kissing at Coachella. Oh, now, Coachella we, just gets in, in you and you what, just want to pash. What's on now? Anything? Anything on the stream? Like, because Frank Ocean's meant to be on tonight. I don't understand what you're saying because you're on. Oh. oh. He was an hour ago, but we didn't get to see it because they didn't stream it. it sucks. Rude. That sucks. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. 
It's about damn time. Um, it's time for Lego House again. We, we've done this before for Lego Masters. I'll explain oh, this it. Is fun. I'll explain it. I think you've got kind of Master Chef style colosses, which I know is on another network. Don't worry. Yeah, this is yeah. cool. Isn't it good? These yeah. are all on the network. Lego House. Like yeah, because um, we've got two grand to give away. Every day this week, who will rise in the toughest challenge yet? New Lego Grandmasters. That's tonight at 7.30. Masters. On Channel 9 and 9. Now, Lego House. Every day this week. Jump on the Nova player if you want to be involved. Amanda and Danny are here. I'll explain to you both though how it works. Okay. Because um, you're playing for people. Ricky, you're playing for Amanda. Yo, 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 Amanda. Hi, girl. Hi, guys. Hi, Ricky Lee. I'm so excited. Wow. I'm going to do whatever this thing is. I'm going to try my hardest. Yeah, I don't good. know what oh, is. I'm, you know I'm, what? I believe in you. Thanks, I'm the biggest fan of you, by the way, also. Thanks, Boo. <laughs> okay. Get a room. Danny. <laughs> Hello. Will. Danny. Hey, guys. How you doing? Joel's playing Hi, for you. Danny. I'm playing for you, and I grew up on a diet of Lego. Don't worry. So oh. bring it on. I'm just look, I'm, I'm FaceTiming you for some reason, and uh, we've got a beautiful fancy colosh here for us, and you, yours is under a tea towel. A tea, a tea towel. We're probably not allowed colosses in the <laughs> they're, probably been the la- they're the latest thing to be banned. <laughs> no colosses <laughs> or dogs. I know, or fun. Now, here's the go. This is Lego House. Okay. Lego, you understand. Yeah. House is music. I'm going to okay. play a house song, and you need to build a Lego house before the drop. How oh, I know okay. when the drop is. is okay. I do, how do you I know understand? When the drop is. Okay, we have to build a house. You have to build a Lego before house. Before the drop happens in the house song. The drop, yeah. God, I'm not going to have time to drop sketches and, and, and designs and mood board <laughs> and everything. Train a blaze star. Put a fire pit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, no, so here's the go. I'm going to play a house song. This is, and, and I just determine the win. I mean, Hamish, the, the host of Lego Masters, is in here. Guys, I'm really in here, not pre-recorded. The excitement is building in here. Mm-hmm. Hi, Hamish. Awesome. This is building. Lovely to see you. Ooh, oh, who's oh. it going to be? Don't know yet. Ricky or Joel. Um, <laughs> Don't ask me anything, okay. but I am in here live. Good. Oh, Are okay. you ready? Hi, Hamish. Hello, Hamish. Is that to us or Hamish? Are you ready? Yeah, yes. I'm so ready, mate. Kalosh and Tea Towel, you have until the end of the drop. I will give you the times. It's Martin Garrix. It's animals. I love it's crazy. So much. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. You got sixty Ooh. seconds. Okay. I, I, okay. Go. Sixty seconds. Okay. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> what are you doing? Put something I, down. I don't know oh, how to. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You have to build a Lego house oh, before no. the house music oh, drops. I'm so stressed. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you even doing? I don't know what I'm Have doing. Have you ever built a house before? I've never built Lego? a Lego house before. Joel's doing not? okay. Oh Joel's god. doing alright. You're 30 seconds. I can't do anything. Your ah. hands not working. Look at how nervous you are. Go, Joel. Joel's got a roof on already. No! Yeah, I don't even have a sidewall. What are you doing? Oh, you're a dickhead. Who? Oh, oh, that's, oh Ricky, here comes the drop. Sorry, here comes the drop. 10 seconds. Oh God, Martin Garrix. This is for $2,000 for either Amanda or Danny. Let's go. Okay, that's it. Stop, stop. Hands, hands. I'm just... Joel, Joel. <laughs> My guy just fell off the roof. <laughs> Oh, that's great, Joel. Can I have a look at Thank yours? Thank you very much. No, I, no, I can't move mine. You have to come oh, no, over okay. here. <laughs> Can I tell you the story behind mine? <laughs> None of it's <laughs> Mine are a young band. Like, I think and Angus and Julia no, Stone. Oh, shit. Well, hang on. Don't touch it. Oh, no, 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 Joel. First I killed the guy and now you. Joel, move oh, yours. Move yours. Broke Let the me see. house. If oh, you, do you want to see it on the main screen? Yeah, 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 please. Oh, you, well, you've won. You've yeah, won. Look, yeah, look, mine are a young couple. Look, she's got a guitar. They're into outdoor gardening. And then ah. in, they've got a kitchen and they're about to have a croissant. Cool story. Um, Joel, you're the winner, which means Danny, you are the winner. $2,000, well done. Oh, oh my God. Very disappointed in Ricky. I, know, I'm, I was playing with Barbies. When? Just in the ads. No, when I was a kid, I never did Lego. You've got four more chances it's to redeem yourself. Do it again tomorrow. Down I'm getting some tomorrow. tomorrow. If you want to be a part of it. And of course, Lego Masters. It is Grand Masters. Tonight, 7.30, Channel 9, at 9 now. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel Nova. Hey, Joel, um, I've got a question for you. How long ago do you reckon you won the Lego House Challenge? <laughs> oh, a good seven minutes ago, oh, more, I'd say. More. More, ten minutes? Yeah, Ricky's... Um, 
God. stupidly still going with her house. <laughs> you know what it's proven well, to me is not everyone has to be good at everything. And it's no, important and to I found embrace the thing your I'm limitations. Really good at. Yeah. And you're really bad at it. Like I'm you don't even so know how to connect the pieces. I don't bad. know how to do this. Who's not played Lego? How do you play this game? I haven't played it. You've never used well, Lego? The, I've never used Lego. Oh, wow. I was this busy memorising the me. lyrics to Shoop when I was a kid. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the salt and pepper aren't good at Lego either. <laughs> Cinderella cut it up one time. <laughs> you know, you're very good at a lot of other things. There's no doubt about that. I hate <laughs> this. I had to go over you're and put go... a wall in for her. I know. It's like yeah, watching someone do go Lego with oven mitts on. Can I please yeah. take this home tonight? No, I don't need let her take it home. Oh, no, don't no. do that. I can't be this That's person cheating. that loses every game like John. Well, <laughs> get ready for it, baby. <laughs> um, how are you guys with feet? I think we've discussed feet a bit. Hate. Right. As in, like, do you think into feet? Yeah, into feet. Oh. Hate. I don't, I don't care that. for feet. Are you mad for feet, 131410? Because you know the Barbie trailer dropped, right? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, my God. That image of, yes. the, of the foot coming out. So Hilarious. Cool. It's pretty amazing, right? And obviously, yeah. on, on this is on record, Quinn Tarantino has said and admitted to having a foot fetish. And oh, a lot okay. of his movies, in fact, most of his movies have some form of foot in them. Um, oh, yes. A foot in the door. <laughs> um, but a list of Hollywood's hottest foot scenes has been released after the Barbie oh, good, trailer. Great. So, um, first one, Dusk. Till dawn, I think we have these. I'm not familiar with this. Oh my god, no, absolutely <gasps> not. Is that That's a man? Disgusting. Some oh, oh. No. he's wow. at he's at the he's at the rippers, as you would say, blackers. Mm-hmm. And um, this woman is feeding this guy his. Oh, that's her disgusting. Foot. That's Quentin Tarantino. That's him. Oh, um, it's Quentin. It's and she's like got like her whole. F- he's got a very Samuel large Hyde. mouth. That's Samuel is it? Oh my yeah. god! Imagine being all those extras just having to sit there. Have and you seen Dust Till Dawn? I have not. George seen Clooney. This. It's such a good movie. I have not seen this. It looks like they're on the set of the Smooth um, film oh, clip. The video for Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> With okay. Rob Thomas. The next that one. Is gross. Charlie's Angels. Lucy Liu's character rubs oh, her foot into a man's iconic. cheek. I love for this. Snapping his neck. It's a good scene. Iconic. This scene. Oh, wow, I yeah. love Lucy. I love Lucy Lou. And then yeah. she snaps his neck. Or no, she puts him to sleep for a bit and then goes and steals his keys. Is that That's before or after she uh, got the job on Ally McBeal? This was after Ally McBeal. <laughs> This is um, amazing. I'm, I'm actually quite fascinated by this. The next two are yeah. Tarantino oh, films. Pedicure. This is Uma Thurman. This is huge. Kill Bill 1. This, this basically was that shot on her feet for 10 minutes. Wiggling her, she, she basically had to perform an entire scene to start wiggling her big toe. Incredible. They have beautiful oh. feet. And then the last one. I wonder if Imagine they actually if they were just absolutely. I know, oh, they definitely boring. are. Because they went out, they, d- they dated Uma and Quinn. Yeah, you don't want to see they my, kind of you don't look like see the my same. feet. They look a bit similar. <laughs> what do you mean, Uma Thurman's <laughs> feet? Like like her. They, they could be the same person <laughs> the same, if they had the same haircut yes! and same hair colour. Yes! <laughs> they both got those kind of like downturned eyes. <laughs> and the last one is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, potentially one of my favourite movies of all time, when Margaret yeah. Qualley puts her feet on the dashboard. Oh, you know, the I hitchhiker. Hate I hate it when people do that. I yeah. hate it in real life, but this scene's fine. Rich does that all the time in the car. He's feet on the dash. He's the feet. last person I know. No, men do can't do that. No, he does, because obviously I always drive. Yeah, of course. Um, but what's, what's, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? He always that? takes his shoes off and puts his feet on the dash. That exact thing is rich in the car. Putting them up against the glass. Yes. Oh, all, no. All the time. No. And his feet. He's quite a beautiful man, but his feet are. Oh, Sorry, I, I he's, so he's definitely listening right now. Rich. He's downstairs Seriously. waiting to pick me up. Well, first, <laughs> I, I, I've now seen two things that have really disappointed me about the Ricky <laughs> Lee and Rich couple. You can't make Lego. And the feet on the dash. I'll get him to do it for you next time. No, thanks. Um, <laughs> good to be back. Oh, my God. Oh, so good to oh, see you. I know. Hi, friends. Good to see with Kate Ritchie around the corner. We'll see you at 4 o'clock in the Arvo. Blood just got